This video covers the last couple of terms about transport systems in plants, including what is the difference between the symplasm and apoplasm, as well as the differences between radial and axial transport. The basics of xylem has already been covered in two videos, and basics of phloem in one. Let's start with apoplasm and symplasm. To review, your basic cell has a few parts. Surrounding everything is a cell membrane, which keeps the inner contents together. Inside, you have organelles that have specialized functions, and the organelles are in this fluid called the cytoplasm. In plant cells, there's an additional major feature, which is a cell wall, and that surrounds the cell membrane. The cell wall is what gives plants more rigidity and stur sturdiness. So even though it feels like this should be a little isolated pocket of a cell, they are connected to one another. They have to be able to move things in between each other. The connection is a thin strand of the cytoplasm that connects the cells through the, through the cell wall. This thin thread of cytoplasm is called plasmodesmata. Having all these cytoplasms connected together, that creates a system called the symplasm. When the plant moves the materials only through the symplasm, it's called symplastic transport, symplastic pathway, etc. It's a more passive movement. Another option is for cells to move things out of the cytoplasm into the cell wall first, and then move cell wall to cell wall. This connected cell wall space is called the apoplasm, and movement through this pathway is called apoplastic transport. Water, phloem, even gases can move through this space. It's helpful for plants to be able to use this pathway because the transport is usually faster. When water is absorbed into tree roots, it mainly moves through the apoplastic pathway until it gets to just before the xylem, then there's a barrier that that forces it to move inside the cell, and then it gets into the xylem cells and it starts moving throughout the plant. The other transport system, you could call it, is radial transport versus axial transport. Whereas the uh, one, the symplasm and apoplasm I just discussed, is more on the micro level, it's cell to cell. This talks more about just the direction that materials move inside a plant and within its years of growth. As a tree grows every single year, it's adding on material and it's creating these annual rings. If the plant moves material within a single year's growth, it's called axial transport. But they can also move materials through multiple years growth, you know, from the more inner parts of the tree to the newer parts of the tree. And that's called radio transport. Ray parenchyma, which is found in xylem, is helpful for something like this. If you have trouble remembering, just remember that radio transport occurs via rays and the rays radiate out from the center of the tree.